Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Diddy. Today we're gonna talk about how to learn any language on your own and I'm gonna give you some study tips and also the methods that I'm gonna use for learning Italian because I moved to Italy and I don't know Italian yet. I am on my way to learn Italian and I'll become fluent one day. If you are new to this channel, you might be thinking, who the heck are you to give me self-study methods for language learning? I am a so-called polyglot because I can speak four languages fluently. It's not like I can do a bit of basic conversation but I'm fluent in all of these languages which are Japanese, Turkish, English and German. Anyway, so when it comes to learning languages I have five main tips and the first one is picking a language obviously that you're motivated to, that you want to learn. It's actually more important than you think because sometimes you know people pick a language because it's widely spoken but it's really important that you're really motivated to learn that language because if you do not have fun when learning a language I'm sorry but it's gonna be really hard for you. So pick a language that you're motivated to. Sometimes we don't have the privilege to pick a language that we're truly motivated to, you know? Sometimes you're in a situation where you have to learn a language, which really happened with me, to be honest, other than English. I had to learn these languages in order to basically live my life in a peaceful way. So if you don't have the privilege to pick a language that you want to learn, but you still have to learn it, then make it motivating, make it enjoyable, make the process enjoyable for you so that it won't feel like work. Because everything in life, you know, no matter what, if it's fun, it doesn't feel like work. Yes, maybe partially it will feel like, but when you compare it to the things that you don't enjoy, if you enjoy something, it's gonna be much easier, believe me. <laughs> Let's move to the step two. Step two is basically setting a goal, then forgetting it. You might think like, what? We're setting a goal and then we're forgetting why. Let me explain. So firstly, let's look about why is it a good idea to set a goal in the first place if we're gonna forget it. It is important to set a goal. Let's say you wanna become daily conversational level in one month. And then you think retrospectively, how much do I need to study in order to come to that place? And is it realistic for me? So in that way, after setting a goal and after thinking retrospectively, you can understand whether it's a realistic or not for you. So for that case, setting a goal is important. And also, I think for motivational purposes, setting a goal is important too. Because when you have a milestone, when you have a point that you want to reach, I think you can see the growth more clearly in my opinion. So setting a goal is important. And for that, you can use today's sponsor, Busu's Study Planner. Busu is a language learning platform which you can download for free and also like purchase premium version of it for like additional features but basically you can download it free for free and there is a link down in the description below there is a study planner where you can set your goal and set the t amount of the time you're gonna spend each day and it will show you when you can reach that level of fluency it's really important so that you won't set unrealistic goals I'll talk about boost later on more detailed now you're maybe thinking, okay, okay, it makes sense that we set goals, but then why are we forgetting about it? Because the system matters more than the goal itself. Oftentimes, we focus too much on output, but we don't really focus enough in inputs. We can't really control the outcome that much. Yes, you might like study really hard and you gave all of your thing, but you might not still be able to become fluent in that such of time which is completely normal because everybody learns in a different pace and some people learn it really fast and some people learn it really slowly so it shouldn't discourage you at all therefore after setting a goal let's say in order to become like this level of fluency oh i see i need to study like 10 minutes or i don't know 30 minutes a day now you have the system, right? You know that you need to study 30 minutes, but you're gonna forget about the fluency level that you wanna reach. The only thing you're gonna focus is that the 30 minutes of studying that you need to do each day, because it's the thing that we can control. We cannot control the level of fluency that we're gonna reach, but we can control how much we're gonna study each day. So we're gonna focus on that part. But in order to know how much you're gonna study in each day, you have to have this goal. Does it make sense? And when setting a goal, it's important that everybody has a different aim for learning a language. You might want to become really you know, fluent like a na native speaker or something, or you might only want to learn a language in a daily conversation level. And both of them is totally fine. 
Oftentimes, when we learn a language, it kind of seems like the whole point is becoming really fluent, talking like a native speaker, doing no mistakes and stuff, but it's not everybody's goal and that's totally fine. All of us are pretty busy, you know, so it's important that how much you can fit into your schedule and how important is it for you to learn that language. And so according to those things, you can set your goal and set your inputs to reach your goal. So let's talk about my goal. So I want to reach to daily conversation level until end of year so that I can talk with attractive Italians, you know, I can flirt with them and stuff. So, <laughs> just kidding, maybe not. In order to change those situations and flirt back, maybe, maybe we should learn a bit Italian, you know? <laughs> so, third step for learning a language on your own is set a system that works for you. This thing actually doesn't only happen about um, language learning, it can happen about everything like weight loss, studying, I don't know, financial goals, whatever. There is no perfect study plan or there is no perfect way to do it. There are ways that you can try and that might work for you. Best way to figure out is to try a bunch of different ways out there, try a bunch of different study methods and then find the one that works for you. You are a lazy ass, I know that, but don't forget to do that, okay honey? Okay, so fourth step, it's actually not a fourth step, fourth category or I don't know, fourth fourth part of the video, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about my language learning system, if you're even curious. So when it comes to my method of learning language is that I hate studying grammar. It just, it's not fun to me. It's, I, I just don't love it, you know, opening a textbook, learning grammar rules and doing practices and stuff. It's like really traditional way of language learning and I just, don't like it it's too boring for me so if you haven't watched one of my most popular videos how i learned english by myself for free at home blah 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 like a really long title video basically i learned english by watching youtube videos and basically talking to myself so again for italian i'm gonna use a lot of youtube videos movies tv shows podcasts musics in order to make great amount of input i have also a video called why you can understand english but can't speak fluently where i was basically saying that you do too much input but don't do like enough output so you consume a lot of stuff but you don't really talk much but in the beginning when learning a language input is crucial because if you don't have enough input you don't have like a bank of information that you can pick words and grammar to speak fluently you know so it is important to consume enough amount of your target language media and in these days it's like super easy you know you can like have a youtube account and subscribe to a bunch of i don't know i'll subscribe to a bunch of italian youtubers and i'll watch them and pick a topic that you're interested in so that at least it will be fun and also you can listen to podcasts using spotify or apple music or whatever tv shows movies you know netflix so that that language will become a part of your life so let's say you thought about something let's say oh i want to drink coffee how can i say this in italian if you don't know look it up and note it to your notion page like make a language notion page or maybe a notebook whatever and then write it down you are not really you know techie <laughs> just buy like a paper and pen and write it down i don't know who uses paper and pen in these, these days other than my mom but <laughs> and another thing that people often overlook is that pinterest boards actually on pinterest there's so many good language boards that you can use when i was learning german I was crying every day, but other than that, German grammar is pretty hard in my opinion. For learning those on Pinterest, there's so many great language boards, like grammar, vocabulary, language rule boards can be found on Pinterest. So don't forget to look on Pinterest because it's free and you can basically like download them and make it maybe like make a wallpaper of your phones so that you will always see it. It actually works and I would Highly, highly recommend it. You might think like, okay, okay, so you're gonna watch a lot of things, you're gonna listen to a lot of things, you're gonna talk to yourself and you're gonna like use a journal, but how the heck are you gonna study grammar? It's a great question. It's such a boring process in my opinion. If you like studying grammar, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for offending you, but I don't like it. <laughs> what can I do? I don't like traditional method of learning. So for that, I am gonna be using Busu 
for learning Italian. On Busu, there are more than 10 languages where you can pick from and there are fun grammar activities that you could choose. So rather than like opening a textbook, studying it in a boring way, I will open like Busu app on my phone or my PC or my tablet, whatever. And in my spare time, I would do a little bit of grammar activities here and there. And since you can do it whenever maybe you're waiting a bus or maybe when you're on loo or something, you don't have an excuse to say I don't have time because we always have a spare time. If you're making coffee, you have three minutes. Do like a Busu grammar activity to improve your grammar. And not only grammar, Busu also has another features like, you know, learning for vocabularies or checking your pronunciation. Or you can even do lessons with native speakers and after doing like homework assignments in Busu, other people can check your homework and you can get help with that, which is a really cool function in my opinion. So for grammar part, I am not gonna like buy any textbooks because I know that I'm not gonna use it. But instead of that, I'm gonna use Busu for learning grammar. Everything you need to know about Busu will be down in the description below and also in the comment section. So if you want to download Busu, just don't forget to check it out. So other than Busu, another app or apps that I'm going to include to my system is that Notion and Anki. Let's talk about Notion first. Notion is a note-taking app, but it's more than a note-taking app. You can basically do whatever you want with Notion. I have a couple of videos about Notion where you can watch here probably. So basically in Notion, I will create a language learning page and I will take notes and I will do my journaling there too. And I will also write new phrases that I learned because rather than like maybe vocabularies, there are phrases that are special to that language. You know, it doesn't make sense when you break it down, but you just say it in that way. So those phrases and also my journaling will go to my Notion page. And also I will add like maybe grammar mistakes that I constantly do or homework assignments or anything I want to note about that language, I will write it down to my Notion language page. So another app that I'm going to use is Anki. I'm going to use Anki only for learning new vocabularies. Anki is an app where you can create new flashcards. On Anki, it will create you um, some sort of a study routine, uh, space repetition cycle for you to learn new vocabularies. I will use Busu to, you know, like see new vocabularies and I will add those vocabularies to my Anki and do like a bit of flashcards every day so that I will learn new vocabularies. Okay, so when it comes to learning a new language, the last step last step is creating a routine you can maybe use all of the tools in the world you can do all the tips but if you don't have a routine if you don't consistently study you cannot really learn that language i'm sorry so in order to create a routine i already made a video about it which i will link somewhere else it's called how to get your life back together plus exact action plan let's talk about like three main tips from that video that can be useful for building a routine if you don't want to hear me talking about it you can basically purchase a book called Atomic Habits, which is one of my favorite books about building habits, routines, where you can purchase it and read it. I highly recommend it. There are like a couple of tips that I learned from that book. And one of them is habit binding and habit stacking. So in order to build a routine, it might be sometimes a bit hard for us to start a new thing. So you connect your desired habit with your current habit. Let's say you want to learn a language, you want to study every day, then combine with your current habit Let's say you drink coffee every morning. So you say, after drinking my coffee, I'll study 10 to 30 minutes of language every day. So, you know, you bind them with your current habit. And another thing important is that scheduling ahead. If you don't actively make time for your desired habits, you will end up not having time. And we'll say, I don't, I don't have a time for learning good language. I'm too busy. But in reality, we procrastinate quite a lot, especially this girl <laughs> procrastinates quite often. So if you plan ahead on Google Calendar or whatever calendar you use, you will be able to see, okay, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., I need to study that language. Just planning it even helps a bit more in my opinion. So it's important to plan it ahead. I am going to make a planning scheduling video. Stay tuned. I know I've been saying that for over a month, but I'll, I'll make it guys, I'll make it and it's gonna be a banger, so stay tuned. If you wanna learn more about building habits, you can read Atomic Habits, I'll link it down in the description below. And thank you Busu for sponsoring this video. Busu is an amazing app, we collaborated twice before and in the comment section people really loved it. So don't forget to check them out, they're amazing, I'm amazing, you're amazing. And see you guys soon, bye.
interpret, interpret, <laughs> interpret, <laughs> interpret. <laughs> I can't say interpret at all. Anyway, you are a lazy ass. I know that, but don't forget to do that. Okay, honey. <laughs>